Hi everyone, I am back out in front of the Jim R. Miller Park Event Center, which is the center of the universe when it comes to Cobb County elections. All the excitement and activity going on inside as the elections folks have started that very time-consuming and labor-intensive manual recount of presidential votes cast in this election. And for Cobb County, that's a lot of votes. Nearly 400,000 ballots will have to be looked at one by one by Cobb County elections workers as they undertake this task demanded by the Secretary of State that will uh, take them at least and through Wednesday of next week to complete. And elections director Janine Eveler was here as workers got their final briefing and began that counting process. And she kind of goes over what we're looking at. We've done the um, statistics, the you know, dividing six days into the total number of ballots, so we think we can get it done. If we need to add more shifts we, later in the process, we will. There's a date and a name, and then there's a scanner letter. They are um, unsealing the containers. They'll take a batch at a time, so it, some containers have multiple batches, so like multiple precincts in the box. And as partners, which they were assigned to a table randomly, so they don't know each other, um, they are calling out the name of the person that is marked as the president on the ballot and giving it to their partner who is verifying that and putting it in a tray. And then at the end they will count up how many are in each of the trays and they'll mark it on a batch sheet which will be entered into the what is known as Arlo, which is um, the Voting Works uh, group has set up a program that tracks all of the audits. It will take however many people it takes, and it'll cost whatever it costs, and that's what we have to do. Yep, so still a lot of unknown in this process, and what's going to happen is after the end of the day today, they'll kind of gauge what kind of progress they have made, and that will determine going forward, they're going to work through the weekend, what kind of shifts they'll need to uh, handle, whether they'll have to go to two shifts and maybe work around the clock to get the counting done by Wednesday at midnight, which is the deadline imposed by the Secretary of State. Even as this was going on a couple of miles away, the Board of Elections and Registration certified the results of the November 3rd election, that certification really has nothing to do with this verification effort underway out here. Uh, so that vote tally has been certified by the board, again, by a five to zero vote. So they'll be working out here at Jim R. Miller through the weekend. The public can observe the activity from a roped off area here inside these rooms. And uh, that will continue throughout the weekend. And probably uh, Director Eveler believes all the way to the deadline on Wednesday, at which point we'll see if the votes counted here correspond to the votes tallied right after November 3rd.